Hey men, I want to welcome you to this men's health workshop. It is going to be a great workshop for you because I know how difficult it is being a man and this is going to lead you down the path that's going to make it a lot easier for you. Just to let you know, as a man, um, being a man is not easy. You know, God's called us to be the provider and the protector and the spiritual leader of our home. And it's very difficult to do that um, on its own. And when you have testosterone deficiency, it makes you less likely to be able to do any of those things. And even, even when you don't have testosterone deficiency, the only way you can accomplish those three things is through the Holy Spirit. And, and when you have low testosterone, it makes being a man almost impossible. And the world's solution to this low testosterone is just to give you an injection of a hormone called testosterone. Unfortunately, the ones that man makes has multiple side effects. And one of the most common ones is prostate cancer. So we don't want to succumb to hormone replacement therapy when our brain and testicles already make hormone called testosterone. So we have to do what we can to re-stimulate our own body's natural ability to make its own uh, testosterone, okay? And so when you talk about testosterone, we know that it allows us to have high energy. It's the most, an it's the most important anabolic hormone to men it maintains our physical health, it maintains our muscle mass, it maintains our mental health, it keeps our energy up high, it maintains our normal sex drive, it increases our strength and our uh, structural tissues, it uh, protects our skin, bone, muscles, heart, it prevents depression and mental fatigue. And a lot of those things you know, are tough anyway. And when you have low testosterone, it just makes them all worse, okay? The signs of testosterone deficiency are insulin resistance, low sex drive, erectile dysfunction, decreased mental and physical ability, as well as lower ambition, and loss of muscle mass, increased weight gain that goes along with insulin resistance, and also night sweats, um, difficulty urinating, sleep problems make it very difficult to get deep sleep, um, irritability, mood gets altered, and infertility. And so if you just look at the deficiencies, you know, there, it, it really makes it difficult to be a man. And think about as a man, God has called us to reject passivity, uh, to um, expect uh, his reward and to lead courageously. And how can you do those things when we already struggle with those things anyway? And now our, if our testosterone is low, it makes it almost near impossible. And so it leads to bigger problems because then you start losing your ambition, you start having job problems, you start having relationship problems, especially with your wife. It's just one downward spiral and our job is to keep that up in its normal level, okay? Now if you look at the graph here, I want you guys to see that part of uh, a testosterone deficiency uh, is kind of going down as we get older. Uh, and it doesn't have to be this way, but this is, this is a normal person, how they go with their testosterone, okay? And we don't want to stay in that blue area because that blue area is where the healthy people are. We want to keep that blue area up all the way as long as we can, okay? And one of the biggest solutions to testosterone deficiency is making sure that we have a low stress life because stress decreases testosterone. And when our mind is off in a different place because we, 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 we have stress, we can't focus, and what happens is, is that stress creates subluxation, which then robs us from more testosterone. So we want to make sure that we, we lower an anxiety because anxiety will decrease stress so, or decrease our testosterone level. Okay? And one of the biggest things that causes problems with our uh, testosterone is the forward head posture. So when the head goes forward, it stretches the spinal cord. When the spinal cord gets stretched, it alters communication all the way down to the, the bottom of the spine, okay? And then also, one directly is the L3 subluxation. This subluxation at L3 directly controls the testes. So no matter what you do, after you decrease your stress, you're going to make sure we have no subluxation at L3 because that one is the direct correlation. And the indirect correlation is when we have what we call the forward head posture. The forward head posture stretches the spinal cord and it starts altering communication between the mind and the body, 
which then can also decrease testosterone indirectly, okay? So from a, um, a spinal perspective, we always start with, the, with just restoring the neurology towards the testicles, which is controlled by L3, and then indirectly by the forward head posture, okay? So that's why it's so important that we get our spine and nervous system checked no matter what problem we have, because a lot of problems can be solved just by correcting your structure, okay? And then majority of people can have forward head posture, they can have an L3 subluxation, and they won't even feel it. And the main reason they don't feel it, they may not feel it in their back, but they'll feel it you know, in, in the bedroom. And so the subluxation has to compress about 90% of the nerve to actually feel it. And then many of us have compressed more than 90%. We've adapted, and the most common way to adapt is poor posture, okay? So if my back hurts over here, I'm gonna lean away from it. And poor posture creates more subluxation. So it's just a downward spiral, which decreases more of the testosterone as well, okay? Another thing that we can do to improve our testosterone is we can make sure that we stop eating things that decrease testosterone. And that's what we talked about insulin resistance earlier. So all your processed foods, all your, all your foods that have been, that, that are sugary and sweet and white, those are all foods that are gonna decrease testosterone. And the foods that actually increase testosterone is actually fat. And we were taught, oh, get a low fat diet. No, that's wrong. We want a high fat diet. And that means olive oil, tons of olive oil, tons of coconut oil, avocados are one of my favorite, lots of nuts, uh, walnuts and uh, pecans. These are things that are really good for you and it increases our fat level, which will increase our testosterone level naturally, okay? And then once we get our diet cleaned up, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we start a program to help us get on the right path as far as weight goes. And here's a 25 year old man example. He's slightly older, overweight. He's not eating very healthy. Uh, he's not doing the right thing. He's a night owl. Uh, and he, 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 you know, my coach in college used to say, son, you, you can't uh, hoot with the owls at night and get it with the chickens in the morning. So he's not getting enough sleep. A lot of problems here. He started our anti-inflammatory protocol, got on our, our program for increasing testosterone and it literally changed his, changed his whole life. He started losing weight. He started getting better in the bedroom. It just, everything started improving. Because you know when your testosterone gets low, it's a downward spiral. Because the same neurology that created the testosterone deficiency and the bad diet, all those things, they take, they rob us from energy. So once you start doing the opposite of that, making ourselves healthy again, our testosterone level comes back naturally. And then it's an upward spiral of health improvement, okay? And another thing we can do to increase our testosterone is actually when we exercise in what we call high intensity interval training. High intensity interval training has been proven to increase growth hormone and it's also been proven to optimize fat burning. And when you, when you increase growth hormone, guess what? Testosterone naturally increases. So one of the best things we can do is do a high intense interval program. And if you guys look at the slide there, I've got an example, we call it the peak eight. So every time we go up, we come back down, we go up for about uh, 30 seconds, and then we rest for about uh, 90, and then we go back up for another 30. And each time we go up or do another interval, we increase the intensity. So the last three reps of this high intense interval training, you're going wide open. My example, is I like to get on the elliptical and I'll get on it and go nice and easy. And this is my, my heart rate as I do it, okay? So this was actually me um, and what happened to my heart rate as I was doing the peak eight. And anytime you start high intensity interval training, you're always gonna consult with your MD just to make sure your heart's good. But you do eight reps of high intensity interval training with the last three, being, and the last three are the most important because what, what gets the testosterone the most is when you're actually working the white muscle fiber and your heart rate is going to its maximum. That's what really stimulates that growth hormone, which then stimulates the testosterone, okay? And it's really good for your energy, it's good for your cardiovascular system. It, it kind of cleans out those arteries for you because it's cleaning out the junk. You ever been in an old car and you push the gas pedal down really hard and it hadn't driven very long? I'll see all the black smoke. That's all the carbon coming out of the exhaust. Same thing happens with our bodies. We get our bodies, at the high intensity, high heart rate, where it's almost at the maximum, 
that's what cleans out those arteries for us, okay? And that's gonna help us with our testosterone. So high intensity interval training, and then just working out in general, trying to increase our muscle mass. The more muscle mass we have, the more fat we're gonna burn, and the higher our testosterone is gonna go. So once we start the, the upward spiral, everything else is gonna fall in place. So high intensity interval training is, is number one for exercise, okay? Now, uh, it also keeps your heart clean too. It just, it's good for everything. I personally like to do it at least two to three times a week. My favorite is doing it on the elliptical, but sometimes I grab a, 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 I'll run up a hill and I'll run up the hill for 30 seconds and I'll walk back down. I'll run up the hill for 30 seconds, walk back down and each one gets harder and harder until the last three I'm doing wide open. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't like it. The good news is I'm done in about, literally, you know, if you add it up, you're done in less than 20 minutes. But it's a, it's a hard 20 minutes, okay? And in the old days, we'd go out and jog for an hour. Moderate exercise does nothing for testosterone. I mean, I wouldn't say nothing, but very little, very little. High intensity does the job, okay? Improves blood sugar, helps insulin resistance, helps improve your heart. It's just, uh, it's just the way to go, okay? And then a lot of us aren't getting to deep sleep, okay? So deep sleep is another one. And we've got to get to deep sleep. Watch the deep sleep class that's online. Um, on the exercise class, watch that one, it's online. On the nutrition, watch Total Food Makeover, it's online. So all these classes are already online for you to watch. I'm just hitting the highlights, the ones that affect testosterone, okay? But these are really important classes. But to get to deep sleep, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're in a rhythm where you're going to bed on the same time, on the same days, and you wanna make sure that your room is nice and cool and it's dark it's like a cave and then you have some kind of artificial noise so that you would not be woken up in the middle of the night by anything else. And you wanna be uh, um, in uh, a situation where people aren't gonna be messing with you. So you, I mean, sleep is very important. In fact, your alarm clock should be, okay, now it's time to go to bed. It shouldn't be an alarm clock to wake up because as we wake up, uh, and we don't wanna be stimulated into stress with an alarm clock when we wake up, all right? And so, and it's also very important to get the deep sleep, we need to be in a proper position. And most of us, unfortunately, have been sleeping with a pillow. And the pillow causes forward head posture, which decreases forward head posture. So you wanna put a roll under your neck. And sometimes I'll be on my back with a roll under my neck and I'll roll to my side in the middle of the night not thinking about it. And I'll wake up with a crick in my neck. And that's because I didn't have support. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a pillow on each side of your ear and that way, if you roll either side, you've got a pillow waiting for you. And that way you won't get a crick in your neck from sleeping on your back with the pillow under your uh, knees, not under your head. I actually put two pillows under my knees. And then I'll put a roll under my back and a roll under my neck. So the roll under your neck supports the neck curve. You do not need a pillow under your head anymore. That's gonna create more forward head posture, okay? And if you do go to your side, make sure your pillow's thick enough so you're not translated one way or the other, okay? Now, another thing that decreases testosterone is exposure to plastics, okay? Plastics decrease testosterone. So everyone should be doing a detox every day anyway. And one of the easiest detoxes I do first thing in the morning is I drink two glasses of water to flush out the toxins. And then every six months I do what we call the 21-day detox to flush out the toxins. But if your testosterone is low, you want to do a, you want to do a, a cleanse now. But what happens is, is so that we've been exposed to so many plastics and they call these, uh, uh, these parapens that get in us. And what happens is that we're consuming plastics and not knowing it. So for example, plastic water bottles. How about warming up food in the microwave in a plastic container or storing food in a plastic container? These are all ways that we're getting toxins. How about if we're eating commercially raised beef that's got toxins in the food they're eating, right? So we need to have grass-fed, all-natural uh, meat products. We want to have no pesticides in our vegetables, okay? So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to avoid the plastics. Um, and, uh, and there's also, read the ingredients of everything you're putting on your skin, read the ingredients of everything you're putting in your body, because there's a lot of paraffins and bad stuff in uh, our products that we're putting on our skin. Shampoo is another one. We want to make sure we keep that uh, nice and natural because we don't want any um, uh, bad chemicals getting into our body, okay? So, so detox is something we all recommend. Watch the detox class to get more information on that. 
Here's a great little testimonial. Uh, Dick's a, uh, been a patient here for years. Um, he had uh, suffered with neck pain, arthritis, gout, celiac disease, uh, and um, autoimmune disorders, um, and some, some other issues. Um, but he got under care with us. He started doing our diet. He did the detox. He got himself cleaned up, and he just became a new person. Um, and that's something we can all do. So best thing we're going to do is we're going to review for you real quickly. We're going to make sure that we decrease our stress. We're going to make sure we get our spine and nervous system corrected, especially the forward head posture and the L3. We're going to make sure that we start our high intensity interval training three days a week of that and then three days a week of weightlifting or some kind of resistance training. We're going to make sure we eat close to the vine. Okay, we're going to eat lots of, we're going to a lot more fat, a lot less processed foods, okay? And then we want to schedule that nutritional appointment, okay? We have a, uh, a functional medicine doctor here every Friday, and for $268, you get your comp comprehensive blood panel done. A comprehensive blood panel is something everyone should do minimum once a year because the traditional blood panel only tells you after you're pathogenic. It only tells you after you already have something. It doesn't tell you where you're headed and what your potential is of getting other problems down the road. The comprehensive panel actually tells you where your weaknesses are and what your potential problems could be if we don't fix it. So it's a really good thing that everyone should do once a year. And of course, he's here every Friday, so go ahead and get that paperwork done and get that scheduled. Um, and make sure we do our detox, make sure we, uh, and then once we get our labs back, we wanna make sure that we change our diet and exercise program to actually help those labs. Okay, so we may have to change with some vitamins, some herbs, some things like that until we get the spine corrected. Um, but as a man, I know it's not easy being a man, but that's why we need high testosterone so that we can have the ambition and we can have the drive to accomplish what God has called us to do. And remember guys, if you know anyone that is suffering with any, any of these issues, low testosterone, forward head posture, um, any kind of joint problems, please uh, give them our gift certificate. If they watch this video, uh, the, the first three days is $525. If they watch this video, it's only gonna be $47. So make sure you spread this around. So many people don't know that uh, there's natural ways to increase t testosterone, natural ways to improve your immune system, natural ways to improve your, your metabolism. And so we wanna make sure that everybody gets this information. So please spread it around and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.